one of Georgia's own state parks. The visitor center is closed, so we'll proceed to the hike. The trailhead is directly behind it. Just look out there. We've got all kinds of information here on this board. Here you get a preview. There are lots of overlooks along the rim, but we're going straight in. What are we doing, Stacy? Um, we're at Providence Canyon. And um, even if you've seen a lot of videos about Providence Canyon, this is a, sp a special time to come because it rained yesterday. So if you have a chance to come to Providence Canyon in like a light rain or just after rain, you can see all the colors. So it's really neat. Awesome. You just go down this. You can see out there. I finally got a real opportunity to employ my gimbal on this shoot. So in stark contrast to the shaky cam of the last video that was probably posted before this one, this will be smooth like Lando Lakes butter. Lots of rain last night. All around here you can get a good look at the Georgia red clay, so indicative of this state. After a heavy rain is a good time to come, but wear boots. And if you've never been to Providence Canyon, it's quite a little hike down to the canyon floor. Not only the colors, but look at this water seeping out of the wall. Look at that. It's amazing. Last night there was a lot of rain, and yesterday, as you can see today, Stacy has seen an artsy shot, so I stand out of camera view and look like a stalker. The trail down is showing signs of wear, but it's well maintained year round. This is a nature lover's paradise. Man, all this beauty and we haven't even got down to the canyon yet. We don't know what we're gonna find when we get down here because it rained so hard yesterday for so long. And on the way here, we saw a lot of creeks completely swollen and overflowing. So uh, after a torrential rain, well, I guess we'll find out. So I'll see you at the bottom. All right, so you have Stacy is already across. You see her footprint where she walked across this. This is cool. Look at this.
empties out onto a plane. More of a bottom. Fallen logs get slowly buried beneath a constantly watery sandy floor. Isn't this amazing? This creek just coming through here. We start up one of the canyon trails. This, I believe, is the canyon we came up last time we were here. Yeah, we never go on any of the other trails. We always just come for the money. <laughs> you want to try this other one over here? Well, I think we want to see the... Wait, not just yet. A mix-up I made earlier. So, it appears I was mistaken. Uh, we did not do Canyon 1. Apparently, that was Canyons 4 and 5. I don't know if we even got in five or not. We may have just been in four. Stacy's looking at the map. Stacy checks the map. So trail one is that way. So I think we want to get on the canyon loop trail. Like I think we've been on these little dotted ones. No, I think we did it. I think it's like dot, 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 canyon, dot, 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 canyon. We'll get to four and five, but right now this is the way. Maybe we can go over that way if you want. So this is canyons one and th one through three that we're heading into now. We were in four and five just now. This ground seems pretty solid, unlike the quicksand of the last one. These canyons were created by poor farming practices in the 1800s, and the erosion just got out of hand. Today the deepest part is 150 feet below regular ground. There is water from the rain, but creeks do run through here year-round. And it's full of Georgia wildlife. I don't know if that's a trail or just a creek. They both look like creeks. Up a little bit further, starting to see some cliffs. A lot of red Georgia clay. It's just beautiful. That's a stick that looks like a snake. Does look like it does look an awful lot like a snake though. It's just a stick. A watchful eye must be kept because this place is a snake haven. So Canyon Two is that way. We are going into Canyon One, I guess. We're not going that way, we're going that way. I have a gift for stating the obvious. This trail is more like a creek bed. There are other people in the canyon. We've seen a couple so far. I don't know if they got on film or not. I don't think so. I've heard some voices and we saw some folks. I don't trust you enough to go that way. <laughs> I have your old baby, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the trust is strong in this one. I don't think I've ever been back here. I'm pretty sure we have not. Ooh, but we got some pretty waterfall in here. I dug this snake world. <laughs>
This is truly amazing. It gets pretty trail trail -y. Stacy says she dubs this snake world. <laughs> what? That was funny. This side trail caught my eye. The gnarly rocks. No. Some canyon up there. This is not the way. Sometimes it's hard to tell if a trail is a trail or just woods. It looks like he goes up and around. What's supposed to work? It's a rock. Some very fascinating geology out here. It's got a little cave in it. A lot of woods here, I'm going to turn off, let the camera cool for a bit. A little Maybe farther up and we found another maybe trail. You can see it. Alright, we have climbed up through here. Seen past Stacy, it barely even looks like a trail. What do you think of this trail, Stacy? It's hard. <laughs> but look at the green moss and stuff. Why is Brian always high? Look at the sky, man. Okay, so this trail goes up here amongst some cliffs. It does not look like a trail. I think it is, but... Does it come back down, or are we just going to be treacherous? Treacherous. Okay, so we abandoned that trail. We don't know that we abandoned it. We don't know what it was. Because we don't know what it was. We don't know if it's a trail or not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that climbing bit was not the trail. The trail one goes like, it's not a loop, it's eh, eh. And we went, so this is like, eh, eh, and then you switch, eh, eh, and you just go out and back. It's not a loop. There is a loop around the edge, but we're not on that trail. You get all that? Okay, so right, earlier we saw a stick we thought was a snake. This actually is a snake. Snake skin. So Stacy was right. She dubbed this snakey town. Snakey Town. Back the way we came. Back out of the intersection between Canyon 1, which we came from, and Canyon 2, which is up that way.
Let's see what Canyon 2 looks like. Almost looks like hieroglyphics up there, but it's not. Canyon 2 is more wide open and easier to traverse. Places like Providence Canyon are great when you have like a global pandemic where you have to stay away from other people because we are doing the mother of social distancing today. There's not a lot of people here today. On Saturday there were so many people they closed the park. Wow. That's good because it means that people are actually taking advantage of Ooh. 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 <laughs> wow. Almost easier to traverse. I'm going to show you what I just did. If you were a horse, I would beat you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can see that or not. Oh, it's like glue. Ah. Ah. These cliffs make it easy to see why it's called the Little Grand Canyon. <sighs> Found another side trail. Side trip. So cool. Okay, so I walked up 50 feet or so. Uh, it looks like trail one or two, whatever it is, ends here. I've shot this before, but let's zoom in. Don't do the graffiti. I don't know if you can see it on the screen. You should be able to, but people have carved in the side. And like Stacy said before, people want to leave their mark, but that's not the way to do it. Respect it for others. I remember a time when these canyons were bare, but in later years, the trees have come back heavily as the land begins to repair.